good morning students a very good morning in today's class i'll be talking about the benzene diazonium chloride and a special reaction called as the coupling reaction now this coupling reaction has another name known as the azo di test fine azo and di di refers to some color okay so that is the importance of the reaction the products are colored we'll come to this part a little later let me first finish what do we mean by a coupling reaction in a coupling reaction you have a benzene diazonium chloride i'm writing it as bdc this reacts with a phenol there are other options also but in your syllabus you have phenol and aniline with which you have you should know how to perform the coupling reaction in lab you may also be doing it with alpha naphthol or a beta naphthol okay now phenol as you very well know has got an oxygen attached to benzene and it has a lone pair so this becomes an electron donating group similarly aniline has a nitrogen bonded to benzene ring and this also has a lone pair so this is also an electron donating group since they are electron donating group they increase the electron densities at ortho and the para position these are the two positions where the electron density gets increased similarly phenol also when it gives electrons to the benzene ring due to resonance we find the electron density that the negative charge is at ortho as well as at the para they are called as ortho and para directing groups fine now coming to the reaction the benzene diazonium chloride reacts with the phenol at the para position as you very well know para position is sterically less hindered so the reaction takes place at the para position in comparison to the ortho position where there is a hindrance due to the presence of the oh group in this case now here you have this as the electron loving identity that is this is your electrophile and this electrophile approaches the benzene ring wherever the electron density is high the electron density as i just said is high at ortho and para positions due to the electron donating effect or the activating effect of the oh so this diazonium has to go and attack at the para position and there is a loss of hcl there is a substitution this uh, electrophilic substitution reaction of the diazonium at the para position of phenol this would lead to the by product is going to be hcl i am not writing that this is your benzene ring of the benzene diazonium chloride you have the n2 the positive is neutralized by the negative at this point and you have a phenol at this end plus the by product is going to be hcl this particular compound is called as para hydroxy azo benzene para hydroxy azo benzene fine it has two benzenes because azo group has to bind to two sides otherwise its valency will not be satisfied for your information this is an orange colored dye fine and you can easily identify it now the same thing if we do it with aniline if you add your benzene diazonium chloride to aniline the reaction is exactly the same aniline being an electron donating group at ortho para this group again is the your electrophile and this attacks at the para position which is electron rich and sterically less hindered so your product again in this case would be you have a benzene ring you have nitrogens you have the next benzene ring for the aniline and this is the structure of your product formed this is a yellow dye fine also what we need to understand is phenol is acidic so at times we add a little bit of base this is a neutral salt phenol is acidic so to maintain the neutral medium of the reaction you have some base added here while aniline has a basic nature this is the salt which is neutral this has a basic nature so we add a little bit of acid to make the reaction move in the forward direction now why are these salts colored is the important question the reason for their color is the extended conjugated system extended 
delocalization of electrons have a look at this this can go here then this can go here then this can go here this can go here this can go here this can go here and it can continue which means there is a huge possibility of electron cloud to be delocalized over at least six to eight atoms the pi electron cloud is loosely held and it gets delocalized over the entire molecule and this delocalization leads to the color of such organic compounds so organic compounds are colored whenever there is a extended conjugate system we call this as a conjugate system which is nothing but a delocalization of pi electron cloud due to alternate sigma and pi bonds present in it the major advantage of this particular reaction is that you can use it as a chemical test now what do i do i can use it as a chemical test for phenol and aniline if you have got phenol and aniline in two test tubes and i ask you which out of them is phenol identify both of them are colored liquids so when you add phenol and aniline in two test tubes and to both of them you add your benzene disonium chloride on of course you you have to maintain a temperature of 0 to 5 because your benzene disonium chloride will become unstable otherwise add benzene disonium chloride to both the test tubes the test tube in which you get an orange color would be your phenol and the test tube in which you get a yellow colored dye would be your aniline that is how you can distinguish between phenol and aniline by using the benzene disonium chloride so this also works as a azo dye test chemical test to distinguish between phenol and aniline fine